Mike Martz has been like on this Brock Purdy train. He was the OC for the greatest show on turf. One of the great offenses won a Super Bowl in St. Louis with the Rams. And uh, Lund asked him a question. John Lund, he said to him, when you were coaching the Rams, did people denigrate Kurt Warner because he was playing with great players around him the way they do with Brock? And this is what Mike Mart said. No, because really those guys hadn't emerged yet, actually. We just drafted Tory. Um, you know, so he was just getting started. Isaac hadn't played in two years. He'd sat in the bench halftime uh, with pulled hamstrings. So, peop, you know, Dick was kind of down on him a little bit. And, um, you know, Marshall, we got him in a trade for a second-round pick, so it wasn't like people were beating the drums about him either, you know. So, and of course, Orlando, it was going to be his second year. He had a great rookie. Year. So, really, every, everything kind of evolved together. Nobody was really established as a star at that point. Everybody kind of fed off each other. There's a there's a great sense of unselfishness in that team, much the same way that you see the 49ers. Where, you know they they want him to get that touchdown for the record, and you know there's a great deal that that the bond that exists between those two teams. I think that um, that really championship teams share. Orlando you feel like he's his biggest supporter. Like when you think of the bike. There's a lot of there's a lot of people that question, and the easiest thing to go on TV or just whoever, former player, former coach, be like, you know, let's pump the brakes. Yeah. If you, honestly, it's the same. I feel like Kurt Warner. They must know each other growing yeah. up, or. But I feel like Mike Martz has been saying this now since last year. Called him Joe Montana. No, I'm like Niner employee, like famous. Yeah, guy. not like to me when all due respect, I'm not saying like Orlovsky or J.T. O'Sullivan don't do the work, but like young guy still making his career says that stuff. It comes off different than like older guy doesn't need it. Orlovsky said that Justin Fields was going to win this MVP this year. So, so you know, he's not just, that long ago either. He's ESPN trying I, to I, get, you to know. me, when old guy says it, like, cause old guys don't, aren't known for like take, like, I mean, they have, they're plenty of takes. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> they got a lot of takes. Well, well, like, like Marks thinks Field sucks. And he, he when, yeah, when old guys time. crown young guys before they've done a lot, like that's something. He thinks he sees it. And I would remember this. Like, he also, not only did he f- do the Kurt Warner thing, Mark Bolger had a nice little run there with Mike Martz as well, right? So he had yeah. two guys kind of out of nowhere. Bol- uh, Bolger was from West Virginia. West Virginia, good pull. So uh, Warner was only second year in the league, the 99 Super Bowl team. Marshall Falk was same age as Christian McCaffrey, 27 years old. It was his sixth year. This is Christian's seventh. Warner was also like 30 because he had been 28. Europe, he'd been bagging groceries. <laughs> the, 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 the team with the, the barnstormers, the team with the goggles on the helmet. <laughs> Orlando Pace, future Hall of Fame tackle, third year. Isaac Bruce, future Hall of Famer, sixth year, but only went to his second Pro Bowl that year. Torrey Holt was a rookie. Yet Oz Akeem, who, if you remember, that team was really good in his, in his second year. So, like, they, when it's all said and done, were not the highest scoring offense of all time. Um, they were like, I'm looking right now, they're like 15th. But they had a nickname, The Greatest Show on Turf, because partly at the time, I mean, it was dominant, but also how how difficult it was to defend, how balanced it was. When you think about the great, the high, when you look at the highest scoring offenses, it's like, you know, Peyton Manning lighting it up with the Broncos. It's Brady and Moss, um, at least in the modern era, right? It's Mahomes. Like, these are blue chip it's rogers it's brady like these are blue chip dante culpepper kind of blue chip quarterbacks that's what made them as a prolific offense different actually uh just ahead of them in 2000 is the uh kyle shanahan falcons team so i do think there's kind of some greatest show on turf similarities with that with that team that did they they finish it off and won a super bowl i think the one similarity is they were better right in they won in 99 and then lost to Belichick a couple years later. But I think they would say they were better in 2001 when all those guys were kind of meshing in their prime. Mm. It's a little different, but like the 49ers are clearly better this year when healthy than they were last year. Cause like every, just the cohesion of like by 2001 and remember that year was like the famous Belichick game plan where he just, they fucked everybody up at the line of scrimmage and Marshall Falk, they would just tackle him. Like when he'd like run wheel refs, they would just take him out. 
but no one else, I mean, would even have the capability of like installing that or whatever. I mean, Belichick that kind of put them on the map and the rest is history with New England Patriots. But uh, I, I do think that they they got better over the next couple of years. Like th- their their offense was much more potent after they won the Super Bowl, just because that's kind of the nature of the beast. Like think about the Kansas City Chiefs. You know, the year that they really their I guess those guys got injured, but that year they beat the Bills a couple years ago. Because I was talking with Gottlieb, he's like, you know, I think the Bills truly like unofficially ended the year that those that thirteen second two plays. Like that was really. They didn't win the Super Bowl that year because I think, you know, Mitchell Schwartz got hurt and their other tackle got hurt. But those guys were on a completely different level at the end, right? Mahomes, Kelsey, and Hill. Like, they, they could, like, speak each other without speaking. Because remember, that 13-play drive, they, like, looked at each other and they did one of these. And, like, they it was crazy. <laughs> and even the Bills were like, fuck, I don't even know what's going on. Now, this is not that long of a period of time. And you got all these guys under contract next year. That's where Iuke. In theory, if they could stay healthy, like they could be better the next couple of years. That's why I was texting with somebody after they were getting the shit kicked out of them the last couple of weeks when they were losing. It's like I, you know, this isn't because it was like moving Steve Wilkes down a panic move or whatever. And obviously they're trying to win the Super Bowl, but to me, their window because their quarterback makes eight hundred thousand dollars is really prolonged a couple more years. Like they do have this couple year period. Now there are other variables that factor in, but like McCaffrey, as long as Trent doesn't retire, like he's on the team next year. McCaffrey's on the team. Bose is on the team. Kittle's on the team. Fred Warner's on the team. Greenlaw, if healthy, is on the team. Hufunga's on the team. Like all these guys are under contract on the team. Ayuk to me is the wild card, but and Chase, I guess but Chase Young's only played one game. But like their core guys on offense, it's really just Brandon. You I don't want to put Chase Young in the core right now, don't you? Well, I went pretty you well. know, I, I really like Brandon Ayuk, but if I had, if you just told me they're both going to be healthy over the next three years, you just have to have a football philosophy. Like I, I got to say adios to Brandon, and I, it's nothing like I, I would be a huge Brandon. I hope that they would trade him to a good team, and I'd love to watch him kill it. And I think he would. Like he's going to be, he'd be an awesome player if you got a good quarterback. But I think if it comes to something like that, and I think as McKivitz gets injured, as Trent ages, like it's got to be on the forefront of their mind. Like, how do we get another sweet tackle? And that, that, that might be the end of Brandon, right? Yep. Where they just, they need their pick, which is going to be late twenties, ideally like 30, 31, 32 and trade Brandon for pick something 23, 24, but to, hopefully, and then package those picks to get to like 12 to take a left tackle. Like I could see them doing that. And that guy plays right tackle for a year and then moves over when Trent that's, I mean, this is way down the road, but that's type shit Andy Reid had to do, right? They're like, God, we don't want to trade Tyreek Hill. We're not trading up. Sometimes you trade a player. Well, that's a good example. Now, he's he was way, like he was a Hall of Famer borderline when they traded him. But you think the Chiefs are like, yeah, he's just going to suck. Like, we know how good this guy is. But we need to, like, our defense stinks. We're going to use this pick on McDuffie and Korlovskis and draft all these defensive guys, and we need his money. Like that's part of it, right? Part of it is like Ayuk's going to get $22 million a year. And think how different they are now than in other Shanahan iterations, right? Where the running back is the one that is just a revolving door. Well, now his running back's expensive, right? Kyle kind of historically has liked having sweet receivers. And then running backs, he'll just plug and play those guys. Well, he doesn't have a plug and play running back anymore. He's got an expensive and excellent running back. So some- Who's also young, get- right? Younger. Yeah. yeah. Not miles young, running back, but yeah, a lot of miles. But you know, the other thing, but um, don't you think they'll look at him like Christian's part of this couple year window with Purdy on this rookie contract, like this year, next year, and probably his fourth year? Like, I, yeah. I don't think the 49ers are rushing to pay Purdy, even if he were to win a Super Bowl and go to a Pro Bowl. Like, they're letting the four years play out, would be my guess. Yeah. Or they try yeah. to get him on a team friendly on a Kaepernick deal. But what quarterback agent ever allows you to do that beside that village idiot agent of Kaepernick's? Yeah. Remember, Drew Drew Rosenhaus was begging him, like, let me negotiate your deal. And he, like, went with that crew. Uh, Did you see what Brock said about the first touchdown he threw? Yeah, after the game. He said, for people who didn't see it, he said, I tried to to point. Actually, I watched the tape. It's different than the way he described it. But basically what he said was he tried to tell George. He pointed hoping George would do the opposite of what he was going to, what he was telling him to do to trick the back. Yeah. So he points. What's funny is the defender actually went that way. George didn't. 
And he said after the game, like, we just got to get on the same page with that. And I think to your point on Kurt Warner and that offense being better after they won the Super Bowl, like they just spent more time together. And it was a reminder of how little these two have actually played together when you think about like the quarterback combos with receivers that have had kind of the mind melt thing going. They don't play. They they played basically a season together. And it's not like George is his top target. Like he throws to George a ton, but he throws to a lot of other people more, right? But so no practice, lot. no practice still with those guys till he began starting when Jimmy got hurt. And then no OTAs. And you were at the training camp practice, you know, in and out, right? Yeah. Two days on, one day off. <laughs> and at the beginning of it, kind of, you know, in, on a pitch count. And you don't, the other thing is like sneaky part about training camp is you, you know, this is like, you're not in that many situations that often, even when you're practicing, does that mean George is on the field? Not necessarily how how many red zone you got, like you run like five red zone snaps a day and it's not every day. So it's what's Debo's pitch count in training camp. Yeah. I mean, Debo comes to run three go balls and then takes, well, actually Debo, once he got on the field practice, but McCaffrey gets off days. You just don't have that. It's and it's not real bullets, right? I actually think you get a lot more reps. Like I bet his reps during the season last year, once he became the starter, and his reps from week one this year are really valuable. Even though practices are less, I would say, physical more than likely than your training camp practice on a given day. You're just spending more time specifically kind of nerding out on football stuff. That that growth during the season, if you have like five straight seasons, like. By the time Edelman and Brady were at the end, like that final Super Bowl or the cut last couple runs, they were just like the Hill. Kel- it's not even fair, the, the knowledge that you have. And you, that's the thing about pro sports now. You don't get that as often. Look at the cohesion that Chase and Burl has. It's not, they've had this since like, they've been practicing since 2018 together. 2000, it's 2023, 2018. Those guys have walked on a practice field together. I throw the ball to you. Just talking football, routes, coverages, leverages, just nerdy shit. Just you as the player, let alone working with the coach. That's the other thing the 49ers are going to have, a lot like the Rams had, is for Meal retired, but March stayed on, right? So their offensive play caller yeah. never changed. Kyle's never going to change. Right. That's that's part of Brock's luck. He gets him. Josh Allen yeah. is going to get another coordinator. Justin Herbert's eventually going to get another head coach and he's had multiple coordinators. Unless if he, I, if I was betting, I bet Kellen Moore is the head coach next year. 